Villarreal are putting herself in with a real show of the top four. Nil-nil, I suppose, against the Villarreal side with some momentum behind them, Luis. Isn't a bad result, especially when you consider the chasing pack. But I tell you what, Real Madrid are a tough watch at some, uh, sometimes, Luis. Yeah, definitely with the first half, it was very, very difficult to see something happening from the Real Madrid side. They were overcome every single time. In the right side, it's true with Marcelo and Chukwete that he was flying on that right side. But they didn't have uh, Gerard Moreno up front. They are center forward. They always got something from there. So Villarreal is one of those teams that uh, they are growing up during the competition. Now they feel good. They feel comfortable. And when they are on the ball, they are fantastic. But if they second half Real Madrid, you know where they are. They know if they start having the ball, if they start getting confident and you allow them to do that, they can be very dangerous. It's true that Vinicius wasn't the Vinicius that we, uh, we've been watching for quite a, a long time, but it's true that he made a lot of effort. He was trying, was very active, and every single time he was on the ball, he was always dangerous. It's true also that we were all surprised that Bale was involved in this game. No Hazard, just late on the game, no Jovi. So something uh, different that I totally try. It's true that he didn't touch it many times, but every single time that he was on the ball, it was dangerous. A couple of the chances that I might had was in the second half. So I think both teams are happy with that point and much more. Sevilla, that gets closer to Real Madrid on that uh, uh, competition that they got between the two of them to, to win the trophy. Of course, after yesterday's win. I said, I said, how many injections? How are they going to wheel out Benzema for the PSG game? Ancelotti said the other day that he wouldn't take any risks. Um, it's difficult to imagine that he really won't take any risks. You know, if you get a Benzema, and I know you can't really put a percentage on it, but if you get a Benzema that's 75% fit, you play him, I think, because he's so significant to this team. And, and you know, you, Craig mentioned it, that you talk about the performance of Vinicius and you've got Benzema, who's the one that kind of makes sense of it, that creates the spaces for him to run into, that makes it all work. And so I think they probably would risk it, but not too much because they are aware the Benzema's problem is bigger than they first thought and that it's delicate because we're talking about a small muscle fibre tear and that's the kind of thing that can open up and become worse. So Ancelotti says they won't risk it and I think today was partly a test run by the way, playing Bale as that false number nine, partly a test run in terms of what are my options if I don't have, if I don't have Karim Benzema available. It's clear that he's not particularly convinced by Jovic. Um, he's tried both Asensio and Isco as false number nines and today it was Bale's turn. It's interesting isn't it? like two quote unquote giants of European football going head to head. Yeah. PSG and Real Madrid. Uh, well, there's no way Marcelo can play. Because <laughs> I've just gone put Mbappe on that side. And, yeah, good night and God bless. But neither are pulling up trees, really. No, they're a, as you said, they're a hard watch. He, he brought, he gave, he gave Modric a rest, understandably. Now, Valverde last week when he came on for Camavinga had lots of pace, lots of energy making those runs. You know, we didn't see that today. Uh, but we did see a, a lot of dominance, particularly early on from, in the first half from Villarreal, so maybe that was part of it. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. I bet when he told Gareth Bale he was playing, he probably said to Ancelotti, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you're getting this right? Because if I'm the rest of those players and he's playing ahead of me, this is a problem. Look, Champions League game's a problem for him with Benzema. I'll tell you why. I question whether they will win La Liga if Benzema's out for two months. Right. This is, is, that, is that serious? Sevilla are keeping enough pressure on them at the moment. I think it is that serious. Right. And I think it's so... So, so where are we at? Are we at... Look, we are much more likely to win La Liga, so let's not risk Benzema in the Champions League. Potentially, because it's so serious that he's playing Bale. Yeah. It, that's yeah. how serious a conundrum <coughs> this is for Ancelotti. The, the best of the rest, in his mind, are not going to cut it. So this is a big problem because, as Sid mentioned, the, the, the injury seems a little worse than first thought, so that makes the risk bigger. Where do I put all my eggs? Yeah. I think he puts his eggs uh, in the La Liga basket because it's, a, it's a 180 minutes against PSG. Anything can happen. You cannot afford to lose Benzema for a couple of months at this stage of the season. If Sevilla had dropped off... Uh, and they had a 12-point lead or whatever it was, fine. They don't have that at the moment. No. They're not playing great. They've got a lot of older players in the middle of the park as well, and they've tailed off. There's no doubt about it. So a big, big, what, three or four days for Ancelotti's team selection. How would you handle this, Luis? Actually, I totally agree with, uh, with Craig because definitely it's not a moment. Of course, you are Real Madrid and all the big teams are going to be fighting for every single trophy, and you have to put the best team that you think every single time that you're on the field. But you have to really be 
thinking, listen, we're going to play against one of the best teams in Europe at the moment, in a fantastic form. Almost all the players that they go, they are ready, they are fighting. They can also even rest some players at the weekend because um, uh, they, got, they are far away in the domestic league from the second team. And we're going to face that. And if you think that Real Madrid, every single time until you look to the bench and see what he's got, he has to be trembling. I mean, I think he has to be thinking, listen, let's let's win a couple more games and try to get away from Sevilla. Hopefully they can drop a few points because if not, I don't see if the Real Madrid is going to arrive to maybe la- uh, late of uh, March with uh, uh, at the top of the league or maybe even arriving to, to win the first game in, in Champions League. I don't think that they got enough. I think they, they, he overused the players in the past couple of months, just playing every single week, uh, every single one of them. And now at the moment you, you are receiving what, what you already lost. The players are dropping. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.